it's Mike from Party for Crafts back again. Today I'm going to do some speed testing between the Glowforge Pro and the G-Wake Cloud. One of the things that's important to understand is that the engraving speed, the speed that the motors can move, isn't everything in the total project speed. It also depends on how quickly the motor can decelerate stop and accelerate again. Like a Corvette and a bicycle can both go 25 miles per hour, but the Corvette can get up to 25 miles per hour faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a line with some thickness that both machines will engrave back and forth. And there'll be some tick marks measuring off 30 centimeters. So I will be able to use the video to time how long it takes to move 30 centimeters, which will measure the top speed. But also it'll time how long it takes to engrave the entire thing, which will combine the top speed, the acceleration, everything. I will set both of the machines at the highest speed that they'll allow you to run at the same lines per inch and see who finishes the job fastest, who has the best top speed, and then who has the best acceleration. So I'm going to switch over there and get the project started. Okay, I'm going to start with the G-Wake of Cloud first. So I have the G-Wake of Cloud online software up. I'll be doing a video about that, that software a little bit more in the future. Turn the machine on, waited for it to connect to the Wi-Fi. I positioned it. I have the, the camera set up so that I can see where this line is positioned. So I will move it down to the top of the previous cut. And then I'm going to set up the settings here. So I want to engrave that at full speed. Power doesn't matter. I'm not, not going for darkness on this one. I'm just I'm just looking for speed. And then the tick marks here, I would like to only score those. So I'll put cut, but I'll put a low power so it won't go all the way through. And then I'm going to click print. Green light came on and it's ready to go. I'm gonna get the camera set up over there now. Okay, I had to change the line a little bit because it was too big for the engravable area. So now that I shrunk it down, the tick lines that we'll use to measure the speed are 24 centimeters or 240 millimeters apart. And here we go. All right, hit the green button. Okay, now I'll do it on the Glowforge Pro. I'm going to set focus while I talk, so it'll go over there and autofocus. I've set it on the maximum speed for the engrave, and I set it on 195 lines per inch, which is as close as I could get to the 200 lines per inch that the G Wake Up, the G Wake Up Cloud does. That's as close as I could get because you can't type in the numbers or drop down lists. So we won't really be able to compare the overall times to each other because one is going to engrave back and forth 195 times for every inch of engrave and the other will go back and forth 200 times for each inch of engrave. So here we go. I'll click ready. Light turn purple. And I'll hit start. Mm -hmm. 